Fluxer. It's awesome. Download Fluxer. Yeah, download Fluxer. All right. Say that's my sign. So <laughs>
and all these rules could be subject to change due to Fluxer's notice, you know, because it's Fluxer app. So yeah, just follow every rule. So make sure the criminal activities are away. Don't don't do that. The violations of the gaming guidelines. Um, no nudity whatsoever. They mentioned this twice in this, so I get, they make it really really important that you're fully clothed while gaming. They even say no see-through shirts, no fishnets, no mini skirts, nothing crazy, no bikini tops, nothing like that. And men, once again, not shirtless. Make sure you have a shirt on, guys. Also, no sexualized content, meaning um, the games you play um, have, like, you know, like it's PG-13 about. No, make sure. Because you never know. There'll, there'll be kids watching you. It's, it's gaming. Um, don't be violent in your stream. So, like, don't be... Don't do not do anything that is in the acts of a threat or stuff. Don't make threats. Don't, don't hurt yourself. Don't do any of that. It is prohibited. You're not allowed to do any of those things. It's almost the same as Live Me rules, but this is Fluxer, a whole different world. This is for the gamers, so do not repeat. Do not do anything that is mentioned on the slips, because it will get you immediately banned. No impersonations. Do not repeat. Do not record someone's stream and pretend it's yours, and then you have a picture of the person as your cover photo, and you're impersonating that person. That is illegal, first of all, and second of all, it will get you banned. And you don't want to get banned for that because you work too hard and you're a gamer and you want to build something. So just be yourself. It's free. It's free to be yourself and it shows people that you're real and it shows people who you are. So just be yourself. Everything's gonna be alright when you're looking at you in the mirror and you know it's yourself. Be yourself. So just be yourself. It's an old song I wrote when I was 21. Don't don't ask. Oh yeah, and yeah, that's it. So I think we're done looking at the rules. So now I'm gonna teach you how to start a mobile game on Fluxer. But before that, I'm gonna teach you the basics of Fluxer, such as the diamonds and the people, how they follow you. However, the app is not fully updated, but this is the beginner basic steps of Fluxer that is up on Google and up on iPhone, Apple Store, yeah. So, next screen, please. All right, so we're back at the main screen. And in the main screen, you see all the featured pages of the gamers. And right now, we are looking on top, where I'm scrolling left to right, these are banners. These banners will hold important information, such as the rules, such as special events that you'll be able to get bonuses and stuff. Check out anything. And check these banners before streaming. You never know that maybe it catches your eye and you have an extra opportunity to get your name out there or be able to get more diamonds. So these are the categories of games. There's PUBG, there's mobile gaming, there's council games, there's PC games. And these are basically when you type before starting a live, you type what kind of game you're starting and playing. So this is really important and this is about basically um, how people could find your content if they like your content. Well, there's nothing on Roblox, <laughs> go figure. But <laughs> if you go to other, usually you find other games. Like for example, I usually put me on console game or other due to the fact that I play retro games and old school games. I stream Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, and so on and so on and so on. Just download Fluxer to find out. Alright, so in the bottom screen you see a home, you see a little heart, you see the blue video thing, you see the little message thinking cap, and you see the little... I can't even see what that is. The last far on the right. This is my profile. Oh look, it's me, Ali Dream. With that owl emoji in the game controller, please follow me on Fluxer, by the way. A search bar will be coming soon, so make sure you download Fluxer, search for me, and follow me. It will mean a lot to me. I'm truly, 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 truly appreciate it. So, um, so here it shows you the diamond count, shows the coin count. So recharging is basically you buy coins to give coin, um, diamonds to your favorite broadcasters. Replays is basically replays that you had been playing and you played before and it's saved. 
for so if someone wants to check out your stuff they can watch the replay um basically the income is basically how many diamonds you made there's a certain amount of diamonds that you can make and you'll be able to cash out i think the estimate is forty thousand to two hundred dollars this is a public view of my profile and this is what people see when they search for me or followed me it's a little bio they show the follower count and my following count history is basically people that you follow so now we're gonna look at one of my replays and um there's a little timer um you can watch a lot of youtube tutorials how to add timers to your obs this is using obs itself and okay we're gonna go forward oh look there's me again hey <laughs> mentioning my youtube what's of course i always mention my youtube Ali Dream A L E D capitalized lowercase R E A M the so that little timer basically like I said in the OPS it helps you know helps with getting views up and stuff and yeah this is just a pre-made video so on the top left hand corner on top of me you see diamonds those are the diamonds I received in total and um, basically I might have those diamonds in my account or I might not have the diamonds but that is the, ext the extreme total of the diamonds that I received and that's based on the gifts that you have been receiving from the people that has been viewing you um at the top left hand side also you see a little number that moves you know a little slowly but gradually those are the views um usually it shows you who's viewing your broadcast but it's not the moment because this is a replay and that's the amount of views yes it's 11 views but the amount of views will grow in the meantime and that is important to know who's watching your broadcast and how they're watching your broadcast okay so let's continue looking at how to start a mobile game stream on fluxer all right so this is how the first page looks it will go straight to the OBS which is the little computer icon we want to do mobile so you click on the phone icon as the phone icon it would say plugin is downloaded because I have the plugin already but when you first start it you have to download the plugin yourself after you download the plugin yourself um, you will click on go live when you click on go live it will look the same exact thing as the OBS you could change your photo and you can add what you want in the game but I don't think you add a photo in the in mobile game no you don't add a photo in the mobile game but you can play it landscape or vertical remember this is an iPhone so make sure if you are playing like PUBG or Rules of Survivor or something like that you want it in landscape mode that is the horizontal way and then if you want to play like Candy Crush or like a puzzle game or Clash of Clans or whatever you would want to put that in vertical mode which is really important as well so yeah now the thing with the iPhone is you're not able to see the full chat like you're able to do with the OBS oh these are the ways of how to put the category of what game you're gonna play on your broadcast so you pick okay I'm gonna play PUBG so PUBG will pop up on your thing and voila you're ready to game but then